Hey, we finally get to see Halo Infinite. Is this what the game is gonna look like? <laughs> this guy seems cool, but no gameplay. Isn't this supposed to come out next year? <sighs> finally, some gameplay. <sighs> this is coming out in a few months, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> this is coming out in a few months, right? <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm optimistic, but I'm not gonna hold my... Holy shit! This game is everything I ever wanted. <laughs> It feels surreal to be here, in a world where everyone is excited about Halo. I keep reading comments like, this is the first time I've been excited for Halo in X amount of years. I haven't seen the Halo community this united since Halo 3, but everyone seems to be just really, really psyched about this game. I feel like Halo Infinite is taking the best parts of every Halo game and constructing basically the perfect game. Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Obviously, I need to play the game before I can say that, but that's the impression that I'm getting. I recently made a video discussing Halo Infinite's free-to-play model and how it's implemented, and I came to the conclusion that free-to-play is the best thing for the franchise. And the way it's implemented is probably the best, most consumer-friendly version of the free-to-play model basically out there right now. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because I think a lot of people read the title and instantly assumed I'm being negative towards Halo Infinite. Which if they'd actually watched the video, they'd seen that is not the case whatsoever. But it's got me thinking about how much love there is for Halo at this moment in time. Enough for people to instantly dislike or jump in a video that they maybe think is kind of taking away from that hype and excitement. And I absolutely love that. If they're so passionate for Halo Infinite, so excited for it, that they're willing to basically already jump on a video that could be in any way negative towards it, that means they're hyped, that means they're excited, that means this Halo game is doing its job. It's getting the Halo community hyped up for a new title. I used to get hate for being overly optimistic about Halo, and it seems that a lot of people have finally joined me. <laughs> You've all seen the light, okay? I was right this whole time. <laughs> But it's okay, let's temper our expectations, we still gotta play this thing first. But I wanted to talk about the divide in Halo, removing a wedge that has been jammed in place since Halo Reach. On one side, you have classic Halo, a slower, more grounded Halo experience. And on the other, you have modern Halo, a faster paced, more acrobatic experience. Both sides have argued for as long as modern and classic Halo has existed. So basically the last decade or so. Disagreeing almost flawlessly, but to sum it up in one sentence, it'd be something like this. Halo needs to innovate to stay popular. Halo needs to do what it's already done to stay popular, not change it. But honestly, if we get any deeper into it, I might fall into a 20 year coma from boredom. But what's important is that both sides have the exact same goal, which is for Halo to be the best game it can be. Being a classic or a modern Halo fan doesn't make you any better or worse than the other. You both want the same thing. Now, do I think Halo Infinite is going to completely unite the community? No, nothing will ever do that. I think there's always going to be that one boomer out there that just wants a carbon copy of Halo 3. And there's always going to be that one zoomer who just wants wall running and jetpacks everywhere. However, the Halo community has had nothing better to do for the last six years than to hash it all out. So when Halo Infinite finally comes forward and shows that it's taking the essence of Halo from the classic games and innovation from the modern games, melding them together into what I think is going to be my new favorite Halo game. I do believe that Halo Infinite will and already is uniting the community again. I cannot wait for Halo to release. And to then have the full force of the development team behind it for years and years to come. For the last few releases, it sort of felt like we're given a new game and then it's kind of ditched after, you know, one and a half years of support, which is great and all, but not super long term. I always get really jealous whenever I see players of other games like Apex or Call of Duty or Destiny or something who are constantly getting new content, new updates, new seasons, whatever you want to say. Whether they're all great updates, that's to be discussed. But as a Halo fan, I'm always looking at these other players and thinking, at least you're getting constant content. I've had to wait a really long time for a new game. So finally, our time is near to have consistent updates for a brand new game. Whenever 343 says this is going to be a 10 year game that excites me very much, will it actually last the full 10 years? I'm not sure, I really don't know, but it's going to be a long time anyway, so I'm happy with that. Especially since the game was created on a whole new engine with the ambition of making content faster than ever before. 
It did feel weird being a Halo fan for the last six years and watching six Call of Duty games come and go. Strangely enough though, I'm kind of happy that Halo doesn't come out on a very regular basis like Call of Duty. There's no way Halo would be able to keep its identity intact if three different studios were constantly developing a new Halo title for every new year. Waiting so long for a new Halo game has been kind of bittersweet and I'd rather have it this way than Halo doing a Far Cry or Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty. It's a sideways motion. It was definitely getting a little bit worrisome leading up to E3. If not for MCC having the biggest redemption story in gaming, I don't know what I would have done in this drought. I remember I made a video last year talking about why I was so optimistic and how I was actually terrified at the same time about Infinite. To be honest, every content creator was. My future doing what I love was uncertain and hell yeah, it was very scary. But I would have gone insane if I wasn't able to be optimistic about Halo. That's just how I work. If only I had known that the game was going to end up looking as fun as it does, I would have been a lot less stressed over the last year. I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel pretty damn good about Halo right now. And I especially feel amazing being a fan of Halo at this moment in time. There's so many things happening for Halo and it feels like it's all coming to a spearhead all at once. We've got the new game, we've got MCC doing amazing things, we've got the Halo TV show. There's so much happening that just gets me always excited. There's always something to be excited for with Halo at this moment and it just took a very long drought to get here. 2020 was a humbling year for us all and it feels amazing to finally be exiting that chapter while also exiting the Halo droid chapter. Ah! Sorry if this video was a little bit rambly, but I wanted to sit down, talk and reflect a bit without any hyper focused topics. You might have noticed we've been uploading like crazy over the past week, but that's what happens when we actually have content to make. There's just so much to talk about and it's been kind of overwhelming. Having too much stuff to talk about is certainly a welcomed problem to have though. But it takes a lot of work to meet this balance of quality and quantity. So with all the new and old faces interested in Halo again, I ask that you consider subscribing if you've been enjoying our content. Or if you want to support the channel even more, I have a Patreon. Patrons get a few benefits, including a private Discord group, custom art to use for backgrounds, and we've got a Patreon game night coming up in the next week, which will be a lot of fun. So if you want to chat and talk Halo directly with me, Patreon is one of the best ways to do it. There are many different tiers available, so a link to that will be down in the description if you want to check it out. But that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you're all as excited about Halo Infinite as I am. I cannot wait for this game. Hopefully the flights will be in the next couple of months. I always get people asking, when do you think the flights are going to be? I'm predicting late July. That's when I think it's all going to go down. So you already know I'll be covering the flights like an absolute madman. I basically won't sleep. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Comment down below your thoughts on Infinite. I love reading your comments. And yeah. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!